Welcome everyone. The first step to activate your iPhone with iTunes is connect your iPhone to the computer. As long as iTunes is installed, give it maybe 10 or 20 seconds and then you should see a screen like this. Success, your iPhone has been unlocked and to set up and sync, click continue. Now the iPhone is activated so you could set it up without touching the computer. If for whatever reason you can't get the iPhone activated and you just see some screen asking for your email and password, this is your Apple ID. So you want to enter in that login information. But if you forgot your login information, then don't use iTunes. Instead, head over to this uh, Google and Google remove activation lock Apple. And there's going to be an Apple support website, which we can use. And you have the instructions here, if you, you know, remember your login. But if you don't, you see here, start a support request. So let's start a support request. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on get started. And so you will need the device information. And so we're going to agree and then we're going to click on continue. So you will need to enter in the serial number, which you will see if you just click the lock button, there should be an I tap on the I to review to reveal that the email address. This is an email address you have access to, not the email address on the iPhone and the characters just enter those in, which you see right here. Once that is done, they are going to send an email to your inbox and you're going to have to attach proof of purchase. If you don't have the original proof of purchase, I will try using an eBay receipt. Apple will unlock very old iPhones like iPhone 7, 8. If they don't get the newer software, there's a good chance Apple will unlock it. Even if you don't provide proof of purchase from the carrier, or let's say you just have an eBay receipt, but that relies on the Apple ID being inactive for a couple of years, because then that would make sense if someone genuinely forgot their login. If the Apple ID is still being used and they're just going to deny a request, that probably means the iPhone was stolen. So, you know, you'll need to click set up new iPhone and continue. You could also restore from a backup, which would bring you to the lock screen. But let's set up and your iPhone will still be on the setup screen. So you will need to manually go through each toggle. And if you're having issues with, let's say, the home button and you can't click that, then I'm going to have a tutorial in the description on how to set up your iPhone. If you know the home button is broken, for example, but on the iPhone itself, you don't even need to connect to Wi-Fi. You should be able to set it up right now as you've already activated via iTunes. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.